haven't had a live event in Fortnite since the island flipped over. The queen was maybe destroyed. And we got a whole new battle royale island that was a ton of fun. But it looks like we're finally going to get an event at the end of the season with some really cool teasers. Today, we're going to create our own series of events on how this could all turn out. Now, in case you didn't see the short, I built the collider in creative mode just last week. So today, we're going to use this as the place to make our live events. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me to publish this map. I'm going to publish this before we mess with it. Okay, so there we go. I just published it. There's the code. Also try to remember to put that in the description. Just so you know, on this map, after about 10 seconds, you'll see the uh, robot there going towards the tower. And I made that just for my little short. So there he goes. He's attacking the tower. And you can see he's kind of scuffed a little bit. But that's going to be how the published island is. And just remember, with artistic builds, when you start to look closely at them, they're a bit scuffed. All right, let's think about some events then. And I need to make a disclaimer. I have not talked to Donald about this, and I'm not going to ask him about it. Don't tell me just to ask Donald. All right, let's start with the most obvious thing that could happen. Now, there's a lot of theories out there, and I personally love to watch Top 5 Gaming for the latest theories. But it looks like the Devourer is maybe going to be revived, and we're going to see the giant mech fighting the Destroyer again. So let's make a little fight between our mech here. But I'm going to do something different with the Destroyer. I'm going to pull out the Monster Skull here, and we're going to delete the sword in his head, and then we're going to take some of this, uh, I don't know, moss and stuff off of it. What I'm thinking is making, like, a mecha monster, because obviously I can't make a live version of him. And if the IO is like cloning him or something, I mean, I clearly can't do that in creative mode right now. So I won't be doing that, but I thought it'd be cool if I added some, I don't know, mech stuff around him. So I'm gonna create a little battle scene out here in front of the collider between these old foes here. Uh, I don't think he should be posed like that though. So let's fix our mecha team leader here a little bit. Also, he definitely needs his uh, sword here. Maybe not that big, oh my gosh. Okay, that's probably a bit better. All right now I gotta build out the destroy here. I think it's gonna be a little bit harder. So we gotta build out like its entire body. I'm thinking with like the bones, I'm just gonna use the spine here. Then let's throw in some of our own mech parts here. And we can even use some of the robot parts. Not bad. I used all of the mecha parts here for this body. I used some from the Dusty Depot galleries for his, like, hands. And I've got his, like, spine coming out of the back. I think back here it doesn't look terrible. I think I need to add some stuff, though, to his head. All right, guys, I think that's probably good enough for our little event here. We got our mecha team leader versus the mecha devourer. Now I gotta actually, like, uh, make something happen here. <laughs> Can't do too much because there's so many teeth and, like, parts on this. Can't really have the devourer move. But mecha team leader could probably move just a little bit. I have an idea. All right, here's live event one. Rivals face off once again. The seven versus the IO. Mecha team leader versus the destroyer. Who will come out on top? Oh, no, what's that? It's, oh, my gosh, it's a mess. Ah! Everything's destroyed! The collider, except for the top of it! What's up with the monster? Why didn't his face explode? Well, half of his face is still there. And both of their feet are still left over. <laughs> and the island's saved by just a simple missile! Alright, that was kind of dumb. What other angle can we take here? You know, one thing I think would be cool too, because even though we can't make a lot of movement on this, is I want to reposition Mecha Team Leader here just a little bit. Like, stab this guy. Just as a throwback to the previous fight. Oh yeah, guys, that is a cool Cool shot there. All right, let's put some prop movers on him. And we got to make sure we get every single part. And I've already deleted a lot of his, like, I don't know, unnecessary extra parts. But you can see all of my explosives I had for my last uh, little live event. I'm going to have to delete some of these because it doesn't make sense for things to explode out here. Although I don't think it's that big a deal. Big explosions are cool. And his stab is going to blow up the collider too. <laughs> let's just see if this works. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh no, we forgot a few spots. Dang it. That does look cool though going into the skull. Wait a second. We gotta get this right. All right, here we go. And there he goes. Boom! Ah, he destroyed the devourer and his own sword. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, uh, well, oh, well. I guess it got into the prop manipulator. But that was epic. All right, we need to get rid of our mechs and stuff here, which I'm sad to do, but we got to restore from a backup I did earlier. And let me show you what this does, guys. If you've never, like, backed up your island before, when you back it up and restore it, it's like loading up a previous build that you have. So there's our mech that's diving towards the lighter again. And we basically basically have just erased all of our work that we did before. And I don't have to worry about deleting anything off of this island because I've got it backed up and I can restore it. Pretty sweet feature. Some of you OG folks might remember at the end 
of chapter two, season two. We got the really cool doomsday event. Where at the end of the event, there was a big water circle surrounding the island. And we've got the collider now, which is similar to the doomsday device. So I think it might be cool to make like a water storm that surrounds this, that just comes up out of nowhere as like the end of the event. I'm gonna get out our water device here. We're gonna make it super tall. So this is basically as tall as the collider, which is tall enough. We're gonna make it start with 0% water. And then when it receives from a channel, it's gonna fill up. Let's just make sure we got the mechanics right before we uh, make a circle around that. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, there we go. The water is filling up. That's pretty cool. It's pretty slow though. I think it needs to fill up faster than that. I love this water device, guys, that we can actually come and like swim in it. So awesome. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this all down here. I made it so it has a little bit filled in at first. Now we're gonna take this all the way over to the other side of the build. And we're gonna do a massive circle trick. No, I decided before I do the circle trick here, I made it a little bit wider so I don't have to use so much water. So hopefully this works good. I don't know if it will. Okay, that looks like it could work. All right, well, we've got our uh, water set up. Let's see how this works. UIO, I've been messing with nature itself. What have you done? Oh no, what's going on out here? Ah! Water has enveloped the island. We're completely surrounded again. <laughs> this is so dumb, guys. Oh, don't look too closely. You've got all of these walls down here for the circle trick. And if you fly up here, you'll see the true colors behind this. This is pretty silly, but also kind of awesome. I don't think this is going to happen even a little bit. But who knows? I kind of like the water season. Okay, last thing I'm thinking of. You may have seen a couple days that Epic announced that they're doing a crossover with Pac-Man. But what if this whole collider here was to call in Pac-Man? But maybe it doesn't go the way the IO expects. So first, uh, let's... Uh, make a little Pac-Man. Problem is though, I'm gonna have to use primitive galleries for this. Now, one of the problems with the primitive galleries is these are like the biggest pieces we've got. But the piece I need to make Pac-Man is actually this like half circle. And the biggest I can get it is that. So, I mean, we're gonna have to make do with what we've got, but it is what it is. Okay, there we go. We got our Pac-Man here. Oh gosh, oh, we need to give him a little eye though. All right, there we go. Oh man, the eye was gonna rue the day they called in Pac-Man. Talk about the devourer. All right, I'm gonna set him up right here on the bottom. Once again, we're pulling out our prop mover because, well, the prop mover is the one of the best devices we've ever gotten. And once again, we gotta make sure all the props have the mover on them. Okay, there we go. We're gonna place him down on the opposite end. Wait, what the heck? I can't place it down? Oh my gosh, guys, I hate the changes they've made to the prop mover. You can't copy one down because it's not technically on a prop. That is so annoying. I have to copy them separate. Oh man, what a dumb change. Oh guys, I just realized I haven't even tested these prop movers. I hope they work. All right, all of my Pac-Mans, let's attack. Oh no, it didn't work. Wait, this prop's moving by itself. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Okay guys, so that's not gonna work where it just goes in and destroys everything like I've done before. Well, Pac-Man here is gonna go into the stream and he's gonna ruin the IO's plans. Okay, here we go. Pac-Man, he's getting revenge on the IO for calling him here and boom! Oh no! Hey, wait a second. What the heck? It didn't blow up. Oh wait, there it goes. <laughs> Pac-Man didn't disappear. Wait, there he did. Oh, and I didn't turn off the effect in the middle. What the heck is this island piece moving for? There must be a prop mover on it still. Oh my gosh, this is so scuffed. <laughs> 